are four different ways to paste inside of Photoshop. The first is the probably the way that you'll use the most. You just make a selection and then you copy that selection and you then paste that selection and you of course when you paste you get a new layer and you have paste. So after that there are three other ways. If you look under Edit, there's something called Paste Special. There's Paste in Place, Paste in Two, Paste Outside. So let me show you what those look like. Let's just dump this layer. I'm going to make a selection here, and I'm just in the basics of this image, and I'm just going to go and grab this part of the image here, just a sample image. I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to go back into this, for all three of these, it's very important that you have your selection in the image that you wish to affect. Because if you don't, you can't actually access these paste specials. Well, I'm going to hit paste outside. You look at it and you see what it did. It took the selection and left what was there and created a mask in my layers, a layer mask, and then pasted outside of that selection. So that's one way. Another way that we're going to go over to is paste in place and paste in two. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to turn on this layer and I'm going to grab this, the background of this channel that I've already created and I do that by holding the command key down and you see the icon that goes over the icon there. And I'm going to copy that background, make a new file by hitting edit new, excuse me, file new. And remember that anything that's copied onto the clipboard, any new file you create will be the size of that which is uh, copied onto the clipboard. So in this case, I'm just going to paste. And you can see that I just have my whole background image. So for sake of example, I'm going to go to Modes and Grayscale and just get it to be a grayscale image. And I'm going to copy this image. Again, Command A under Selection for All. And then I'm going to Command C for copy. And I'm going to go back to my image. And you see here that I have my selection still in place there. So now I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Special, and I'm going to Paste in Place. Notice that Paste in Place left my background grass green and left the layer above it, but just created a new layer. Right? And so now I have a gray background which could be manipulated just so you could see it a little bit better here. And you see that I've got a grayscale background. So that's that. However, if I go back to here, and again, I want to make sure to make this work, I have a selection ready to go. Go back to there and copy it to the image that I wish to paste. And in this case, instead of paste in place, I'm going to go to paste special paste in two. What paste in two does is it creates a new layer again but it actually creates a layer mask with it which in this case allows me to and if we see it there's my mask but what I can do from here then is I could affect my mask and um, like so and let's say I want to add some blue swiggles in here so that's my mask if I go back to my composite, turn off my mask, now you can see that I'm affecting the mask. So by pasting in two, it allows me to automatically have a mask, and then if I need to, to go in and adjust and affect that mask. 